Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another episode of Shrine's Legacy, a Super Nintendo inspired RPG made recently. And this is the demo and it is available on Steam and we are going to take this little boat off to an island. Are we the owner of the boat? Sure am. You two look like you're on a serious mission. Name's Dingy. What be yours? Rio and Rima. A pleasure. What ails you, Rio and Rima? Groom's Island. We need a way to it and someone brave enough to sell us out there. As you remember from the last episode, we kind of picked a fight with a couple of uh, luchadors. Uh, and we need to get out to Groom's Island to kill a big evil creature. Yep, the monstrous Grunus, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, do this and earn the uh, necessary uh, respect or money or what we need. Uh, monstrous, you say? It's more like a demon of the land. Aye, so it is. Many a creature roams the island, but none more deadly than that which is named after. You both are fools for wanting to trifle with such a devil. Maybe so, but that devil may have something we need. We are out to collect eight gems, and if we collect all eight gems, we'll be able to stop the evil Aklor. Ah, uh, I can do it. Maybe I'm the only one who will. Just it to be awful to see your more lives lost. So many have fallen prey to its deadly snare many many loved ones we can take care of ourselves james name your price mr dingy just dingy will do and all of it oh man he's taking us all of that reward for the bounty of the monster that's to be priced uh the whole reward it's a deal yeah we don't really need money we really need the gem um so we need to take a uh, take care of what we need to do do what we need to do to get the job done come back in the morning and we'll set sail well i guess we're off to sleep for the night uh there is a hotel there the whole reward of this guy think about how much zuel that is we do not need the zuel we are looking for gemstones remember besides no other boatmen will sell out there yep we are looking for the gemstones we really don't need the money uh, have you heard it yourself? There's no other choice. It's late. We should find shelter for the night. There is a inn over here somewhere. If I could find it again, this uh, s oddly set up dock city <laughs> is a little. Oh, there it is. There's the inn. Um, I always find it interesting that the places uh, the games try to make fun words for the money just call it gold or or coins or something and you don't need a fancy name for it i always think it's uh interesting that they try to come up with some clever um word for the money oh no we'll be sleeping in the same room how is that that is awful. Yes, we want to turn in for the night and we will uh, get a bright and early. Looks like we got some story here. Backstory. That's cool. What are you writing? A letter to Mala. I'm letting her know how things have been going. She went through a lot because of me. Rio, it wasn't. Something's going on. Try not to be too long. We need to wake up early. Yeah, I won't be much longer night. Wait, okay, so they're worried about sleeping in the same room when there's two beds. I mean, I guess I could see if there was one bed and they had to sleep in the same bed. That might be a little awkward, but it's, I mean, you got two beds. What's the big deal? It's hard to believe he is the one who wields a sword. There is a special sword. Shrine's legacy is the family legacy and Rio's last name is Shrine. And he is the one to able to wield the, the magic sword, if you remember, uh, that uh, allows us to defeat Aklor. 
But this is my only option. If there was another way, I would have taken it. Yep. Yeah. Adrian, I promise to pull through. Well, there's a new name. That's kind of interesting. So she has some other past here that we have not been aware of yet. And Rio's gone. Rio's just out there. Yeah, I agree. Where is Rio? Rio's pro. Oh, no. Okay. He's playing with his uh, jewel. Is that for Mala? Yes, that is the jewel that Mala made for us and gave us before the, like, right before the whole thing was, uh, the whole story started taking place. We need to meet, we do need to meet Dingy. Off. Okay, so we need to drop off the letter. Meet us down by the pier. You got it. See you soon. Okay. I kind of like the, the, the way they do the, the, uh, the game can't believe played as co-op two player, uh, couch co-op. Uh, but as you're playing a single player, I find I like the way they're doing the switching back and forth between the character. You control one for a little bit and then control the other. And that's just, I think that's neat. Um, you can switch when you're out on your own and fighting and stuff. You can switch when, however you want. To between the two characters, but I like that the story, the backstory, and the cutscenes kind of give you control over uh, the two different creatures or uh, characters at uh, different times. If there's no charge for your first delivery. It is our way of saying thanks for choosing post cats. I'll just take that and we'll mail it out for you. Awesome, sweet. But could you always tell them like? go everywhere and just tell them hey it's my first time um so i just find that that odd that like kind of going on your um your own word you know what i'm saying like i would always go into the post office and say hey it's my first day i get a free letter right um yep we got to meet up with the dingy over here Let's, he was up in this area. I, yeah, over here. Oh, ran into a pole. That that would probably kind of hurt. Hey, let's go. Come on. What are you waiting for? Yes. All clear. Ready to go. Finished with prepping. Let's get set sail. Hoist the mainsail. Set the jibber jabber or something. <laughs> uh, let's uh, see the ma uh, mainsail set. Uh, call for the captain ashore. We're ready to go sail. Now, let's get to sailing. Uh, we have not sailed. We probably have never been on a boat. Today, while aboard this vessel, you two shall be me, first and second mates. Everyone pulls their weight around here, understood? Yes, yes. It's important to know what to do on selling a ship, and I would think it would be very hard to uh, sail a ship and to get everything going uh, the way it needs to be. Man the sails, lad. What is Rima is gonna do? Woman the, woman the deck glass? What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, Rima, be mad at him. Go go uh, uh, punch him in the nail. Yeah. He's just kicking that. Get in is an important one, Rima. Keep an eye out for dangers in the water. Uh-oh. You could do it, Rima. Island seems dreadful yesterday, but the sea always gets me spirits up. Well, let's get going, okay? Let's head off into the wild blue yonder. So the island got its name from the Gunas, right? Yes, sir. I didn't used to have a name, though. Because that was a long time ago. Children be calling calling that on account of the monster that dwells there. The monster has been a threat for a long time, right? Why hasn't it been dealt with? Well, probably because it's a giant monster. Uh, <laughs> people probably just don't want to run up and uh, fight it real easily. Moves fast as lightning, as deadly as though it were created by Alcor him, Aklor himself. It actually probably was created by Aklor. Um, uh, he has me shipmate, and I have encountered it some years past and experienced firsthand why people uh, fear it. Uh oh. It was the same day I lost him to the damned monster, me best friend. 
Aw, oh, man. If it weren't for me cowardice and foolishness, he'd still be here. It's all right. You're, you're okay. Never completely recedes. Rima has Rima lost it. Everybody has lost somebody. Well, I guess Rima is trying to be quiet. She has some kind of backstory here uh, that uh, is going to come out at some point. I have a feeling. All right, come on. Let's let's get to the island now. Let's go. Chosette will be on Grumus Island soon. Okay, Gunas. Now you just stay here with the boat and uh, be ready to set sail. It looks like little volcanoes. That's kind of cool. Kind of spooky, but uh, gunk oozing from the rocks. It looks like to be some sort of geothermal material, which indicates underwater volcanic activity. Interesting. You wouldn't think it'd be like rainbow colored now, though, would you? I mean... Anyway, I'll be waiting here. Yeah, yeah just wait here at the... Uh, old ship buddy and we'll we'll take it from here now can we like that'd be kind of cool if we could uh swipe the air we go let's get some find some money because we definitely need a little bit of money to take care to buy uh, some fun stuff here uh let's go ahead and save it we always get the chance to save it you always always should be saving yes our progress progress is saved yay so it looks like we can go Oh, there's one of those tree crabs. Very deadly, they be. No, they actually are not deadly at all. They're pretty, pretty easy. Oh, we can go into the water. That's kind of cool. So it looks like we can, oh, go a little bit. Okay, into the water. That is going to be good information for us. Uh, a treasure chest is always good. I'd like to collect as much money as we can because there are a couple of, um, gemstones that we need oh we found a dungeon map sweet um some of those jewels we will need to uh end up uh getting some power-ups in the uh, city there on the uh i guess not atlantis uh venice uh island over there uh we will be able to pick up some jewels and that will uh, kind of power us up and give us special abilities which is kind of cool uh, so we want to try to collect as many of these little uh, coins or zuels as they call it as we can. Can we just kill these guys? No. Oh, we woke out, 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 out. Stop, stop, stop. Go away, go away, get out, out. Oh yeah, we need that. Definitely we need that. Let's switch out and let's fire this guy. Boom. Catch him on fire. Fire. One, ow. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, that thing, that, 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 that that's helpful. Those little things help us. Uh, some places you have to kill all the air, uh, all the enemies in the area. Oh, we can't get over there. All the enemies in the area. And then that little magical ball will go up and like rid the area of certain, um, a blockade or something to that effect. Ooh, what is this? Need orb. Okay. Well, what is the orb that we need? We need an orb over there too. So we get looks like we're gonna have to find a couple of orbs in some way, shape, or form. There is an S over here. I don't know what the S's mean. Is that like secret or can I oh he's she's out of power? She's out of mana. There we go. Save spot. That's good, good, good. Ooh, let's uh, light this up as much as we can. That is a blockade. Interesting. I wanted to run. It does look like there's something back there, but we've got to figure out what and how to open it. Oh, there's another one, but oh, we have one fire left. Let's use it. Yeah, there we go. That did not help us. <laughs> we have lit up the area, but we have definitely not done it. I figure that these are going to be some kind of lights that we're going to have to ba bang around somehow. Yep, yep. Um, let's, where's the light source? We'll probably have to get, somehow get light to this and to this to open those paths. That's what I'm thinking. And then we put an orb into these and that starts the light. That's what I'm going to guess here is what the uh, purpose of that is going to be. Um, oh, wow. That was kind of close. I was, uh, not expecting. Oh gosh, monster. 
I was not quite not expecting that to pop up so quickly. Um, although I actually like Rima better, Rio's um, uh, arc on his uh, attack is much better than Rima's. But we got these little statues here too that we can power up, which is kind of neat. I'm not exactly sure the use of them. I mean, obviously they um, allow you to make your mana come back, but um why they're there i guess is the odd thing Ooh, ooh ouch okay so this fire only hurts them a little bit it seems like some things it hurt seems to hurt a lot more than others uh because fire will actually burn down yeah bushes as well but the fire that's on the ground like that will also hurt us so we got to be careful not to run right up into it either uh looks like we've got can I fire that? Oh, maybe? No. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. That worked out rather well. Did not did not expect it to work out that well for us. Um, well, let's light this up. I like I, I like the uh action here, the, the way the puzzles are running. I found an orb. Woo! We got one orb. Let's go back and get the orb lit up. And oh, Oh, that was kind of weird. I, unexpected because I knew that was an edge. I just found it a little odd the way that worked out. Uh, let's see if we can grab some more of this grass. We're going to go all Zelda on this to see if we can find any more rupees in the grass. Unfortunately, no rupees are had for us, but we will fill up our mana. These little magic statues are kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> little mage statues we could hit repeatedly over and over again to get... Uh, our magic backup is very very helpful so an orb goes in let's pick that one okay so oh do we so that's gonna have to bounce i'm gonna say that way can i do it again there we go okay that's not going to get it to where we need it to go what we probably should do is work backwards really uh we needed to go yeah so this should work there then there and then there that should actually get it to work if you work from the backwards then you could make sure that it works right you could just follow the line if it needs to get to this one back up and it needs to bounce down to you know you can make it work uh, by working backwards a lot of times and a lot of times that's easier to do that way So he's just gonna be yeah, oh gosh wrong button wrong button Wrong button. No, no, no. Ow, ow, ow. All right, run. Oh I keep on hitting the wrong button, but there is a nice little dash there Boom, we could run backwards and avoid getting hit If we need to but I'm gonna flame this guy again because uh, that helps out quite a bit. We don't need to do as much damage if we flame them a couple times. Get half of his heart uh, health off and then we could get him uh, much, much easier. These, and then we need to find another orb somewhere. Oh gosh. Oh, I did that. I don't like that thing. Well, that, oh, that did some good damage there too. And he's still on fire. Boom, boom, there we go. Got to use that magic at our advantage. I'm not a very big magic person, but definitely will be helpful um, trying to stay away from him and do as much magic as we can. Now, these guys are not too tough. We'll run, run up right into his face. One thing I do notice, there's not enough knockback uh, for these guys to... Um, So that your sword is not going to your sword is not going to knock them back. If they're coming at you, there's not enough knockback from your sword to keep them back. So you got to be careful about that. There's another one of these. That flame actually hurt him quite a bit. Oh, he's stuck on the tree. I think that's kind of cool. He looks like kind of an octopus thing. That so that's kind of a neat little creature there. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, but I kind of see what the use is for the uh, run. You can get them to uh, you run away because they come at you and you're unable to stop them. 
to walk up here. Let's see what's up. Oh, oh, we got a frog. Ouch. Can I claim the frog? I can. And that actually worked out really well for us. Hey, look, we got some blue goop. Blue jelly. Ow. Um. Can we do another one? Can I get him dead? I really want one of these to be dead, but I don't think we're going to... Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. I think we're going to be in trouble. Okay, we got them both on fire. That's going to be helpful. Can I get one to come up? Yeah, I'm trying to get one to come up and then fight one at a time. Here we go. Oh, oh, Rio's almost dead. Let's switch. Ugh. Here we go. Well, we are healed, but we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Do I have some of those healing potions? Um, What is up here, though? There's another frog. I'm kind of worried a little bit about these frogs. Oh, gosh. Some more frogs. Oh, yeah. Rima, oh, he went down. Ew, I got to have to figure out how to heal him. Um, I'm not sure if there is a way to heal him or not. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, ow. Oh, gosh. I'm so worried. There we go. Can I? Okay, good. Whew. I was really worried about that for a second. So we can rescue as long as one of them stays alive. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. That's the other one we need. We want, ow! Oh, no, that's not what I expected. Not at all what I expected. Um, eh. Oh, that's shoot. I, I accidentally switched it. Oh, she's out of fire. Can I, can he do it? Okay, that helps a little bit. Eh. Trying to hit the, I don't want to get too close. I don't want to die. That's not, is that some new material or just is it dead now? Okay. Oh, we're out of, we're out of fire magic. That's not good. We need more fire magic so that we can. I'm actually really worried about our ability to make it through this right now. Um, I do believe I used too much magic there. Uh, I wonder, can I stop those? I can. If I time it right, I could stop them. And there's enough knockback on this guy. He should not be too hard. I should... I'm running too hard at the creatures is what I'm doing. Okay, so let's light that one up. Um, uh, not sure that that opened that, but it looks like I haven't killed enough of the creatures to unlock that. I don't think there's any more creatures up here though. Did I miss one somewhere? Ew, no. I'm going to be afraid if I don't get uh, <laughs> finished. There's only certain places we could we could save. But let's go up here real quick and see if we can light this one up and see what happens. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Did not quite expect that to happen. We're going to have to run back to base though and save. Let's go ahead and open that up. That's going to help us out a little bit. Let's see if we can get all the way back because I think that might be the only safe spot on the island. Uh, but how did I get? Oh, it was right here, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Come out and down. I don't think I got another orb yet, but oh, we got uh, the yellow thing. So we got two more a green and a red to do. And then we also have to open this down here. So we're getting some of the creepy cave and the Goomis Island figured out. So that's good. Um, there's definitely another guy over there we'll have to find and deal with at some point. But there is quite a bit here left to explore and I'm excited to jump into it in the next episode. Uh, we do not have any flame. Uh, no flame. Uh, these guys are the ones that I really got to be careful about because uh, they do not have enough not back i really would like to have another sword that's one of the things i really would like to have um right now is a um ah oh shoot i wasted that one um a way 
to um, get better equipment. That's the one thing that I, well, that I, I'm sure better equipment is probably going to be uh, coming soon, but better equipment right now and um, what's the other thing that I'd really like to have? Um, oh, I, I really think that the, the uh, AI uh, needs to be worked on for the alternative or the um, the other character. I think there's a little bit more that could be done to make her more useful that she's not just following me around um because she's like right behind me no matter where i go so if i run off from an enemy she's going to run off as well uh maybe if i have to run off enough that would be okay uh but i still think that she should be able to sense the creature and kind of go after it if i'm nearby i think that would be really cool but i'm having fun with the game uh, and uh, I think you should all check it out and that's going to be all for this episode And I do appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much And I will see you all next time and we will finish Goomis Island. Bye everybody